I can tell you right now that we're at a place I know you are ready to elect the next president of the United States of America. <laughs> Listen, I'm so excited to be back here in the great state of Florida, and I am tired up to here, Florida. I'm tired. I'm very tired today because the liberal media is going to continue to do whatever they can to discredit and to hurt Donald Trump for president. Everything he does, they try to nitpick and break it and take it apart. We had the lieutenant Carter, colonel to honor Donald Trump with a purple heart to show that there are some real veterans who are ready for a real leader to become the next president of the United States of America. Because they understand that when Donald Trump becomes the next president, we're going to have a real military that's going to take ISIS out forever. 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 Shall never, shall never, shall never, shall never, Never will we allow the liberal media to dictate our way of life and our opinion of a great man like Donald Trump. Never. And I just want to thank our men in blue who protect our lives on a daily basis. Come on, America. Come on, America. Come on, Florida. Let them know you love them. Let them know. Let them know. Let them know. You support them. Let them know that you got their back. Because USA. 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 Because we live in the greatest country in the world. We live in the strongest country in the world. And I don't care what the liberal race baiting Democrats try to make you to believe, but we are strong. We are united. We are fearless. We will destroy any attack that tries to come on our grounds. And you know why? Because we are the United States. And those liberal race-baiting Democrats And that crooked, crooked, crooked Hillary Clinton, who don't belong in the White House, but she belongs in jail. Lock her up, lock her up. Lock her up. Yeah, because I want to tell Hillary Clinton to all the media that's watching now and to everybody, and I hope Hillary Clinton is watching right now because we're going to let her know we are not going to ever forget it. The email scandal, Benghazi, we're not going to let it go. You belong in jail. Lock her up. And 
And I want to say this. Because the liberal media and Democrats will consistently, completely keep using race as a reason to keep us divided and not united. And to the Black Lives Matter movement, I said it at the RNC, and I'm going to say it here in Florida, that not just Black Lives Matter, but all not that if she can keep us focusing on the colors that divide us and that's the real problem because black folks been voting for Democrats for over 50 years and we're still broke as a people we're still weak as a people we're not strong and I don't care what nobody else says but I know that because we're the United States of America that when one race is weak we are all weak We're all weak, and I don't care, because I said it before, I'm from the South, I know what real racism is, and it's not Donald Trump, it's not Donald Trump, it's not Donald Trump. We got, we got great Americans here in Florida. We got great Americans here that says, I am tired of being labeled a racist simply because I'm proud to be an American. the liberal Democrats and it saddens me how the race baiting liberal Democrats will continue to try to change our way of life they're trying to attack us because we love marriage we love family and we love babies we love babies we love those unborn babies those babies gotta live y'all not talking to me Florida the babies got to live. They got to have a voice. We got to get rid of abortion. And we got to stand behind those millions of unborn babies who need to have a chance to experience the great country of the United States of America. us they hate us the democrats they despise us because it's okay to be bold in your faith it's okay and aren't you glad we elected a man in donald trump who believes in the name of jesus christ Because he believes he's a man of faith. He's a man that understands the great principles that made us a great country is being allowed to be able to practice our faith and to practice it without some race-baiting liberal Democrat trying to stop us from loving the God that raised us from the ashes. And we will always, always, always overcome. I said everywhere, and I want everybody to know that Donald Trump is watching you live right now on RSBN.TV. Y'all better let him know you're ready for it, Florida. Let him know, Florida. Let him know. Trump, Trump. And 
And I say it everywhere I go, that despite the color you were born with, here in America, the only colors that matter are the colors of the red, white. God bless you, Florida. I ask you to help me elect the next president of the United States of America, Donald J. Shout, slump, jump, jump. Chip, chip. I'm Pastor Mel Burns. I love you. God bless you, Florida.